Games are one in the trenches, and the Knowles just added to them. Alex Atkins picked up a big signing day commit, and we're going to tell you about it next. Hey guys, thanks for coming to the channel. Thanks for watching this video. Happy signing day to you. This isn't super unexpected, but we're going to celebrate it nonetheless. Thank you guys for hanging out. We've got videos dropping all day today. You can spend all day just kind of watching videos that are going to drop or have already dropped. Make sure you're subscribed. Flip through and go see what else we're putting out today. Appreciate you guys a ton. Of course, appreciate Garnet and Gold as well. The best location when it comes to FSU licensed merchandise and apparel. You can use code NOSLAW, N-O-S-L-A-W, for 15% off at GarnetAndGold.com. Support the uh, local family-owned and operated Tallahassee retailer. You can shop online or in person, but use no slaw at checkout, N-O-S-L-A-W, for 15% off. Christopher Otto committed to and signed with the Knowles today. The Knowles pick up a big offensive line commit here on signing day. Um, he's out of Key West, Florida. I don't want to do a whole video on Key West, Florida, but I already love this kid coming from one of my favorite vacation and destination spots in the great state of Florida. He's a three-star prospect, uh, 6'5", 290-pound offensive tackle. The Knowles absolutely love him. They love his size. They love his frame, and they think that he can really put on some good weight and be a, a good prospect for them in the future. They stayed on him for quite a while. They've talked with other commits. They've talked with other um potential offensive lineman and they really really liked Otto and they stayed on him for a while and they were able to land his commitment Penn State and Stanford were heavy in this recruitment as well but the Knowles were able to hold both of them off I'll say that again Penn State and Stanford two destination spots for offensive linemen shout out to uh, Alex Atkins who continues to do work this is his fourth offensive line uh commit in as many days pulled in three transfers that we talked about um sunday monday tuesday three transfers and then wednesday he gets an offensive lineman out of the high school ranks uh very athletic according to all reports like i said 6'5, 290 moves extremely well for his size uh, he's a guy that i think alex atkins and coach storms can really mold and make into a very good player um I don't think he'll see the field right away. I'd be pretty surprised if he got in a ton this year. Uh, I know that you know you had guys like Armella and others that did play early in 2021. I'm not quite sure. Uh, I'm sorry, in 2022. I'm not quite sure if we'll see Otto this year or not. I do think he needs to put on some weight, a little bit more experience, but he's a guy that I think can be developed very, very well by Coach Atkins, put on weight with Coach Storms, and be a really, really good tackle for the Knowles in the future. Um, I think that maybe in some of those lesser games, you might get a glimpse of seeing him, maybe try and get him some time against bad opponents that you'll play like Miami and FCS schools. But I'm not sure that you see him a ton this year. I think you're going to have to develop him and, and train him for the future. High motor guy, you really cannot teach effort and hustle. I think he'll be extremely good for the locker room. I think he'll be an, a leader one day. I think he's that kind of kid that really does put everything he's got into what he's doing. And I think that's going to be massive for the Knowles in the future. Very smart kid. He had an offer from Stanford, as we mentioned earlier. Um, literally could have played anywhere and gone anywhere academically. So really, really impressive kid from that perspective as well. Uh, kid wrestled. Wrestled in high school and played both sides of the line. Played offensive and defensive line for his high school. Um, obviously, really, really good technique with being a wrestler. Um, love the, the multi-sport athletes. And I think that's really, really big. He's obviously extremely strong. And I think that's something that's going to help FSU um, through his development. He'll be able to put on weight well. He'll be able to still move with his athletic frame. And I think that's really, really big for the Knowles. The offensive line has been very good to FSU in the portal. We've listed all of the portal guys. I don't have to go through them again, but they've literally brought in guys that have been all ACC team members like Gibbons and uh, Emmanuel. They've brought in other guys who have been very good for them in the portal, have pushed guys ahead of them, and they've been active in the portal this year as well. Bring in, like we just said, the three offensive line commits who all committed the three days before today. But... Florida State has to continue to stack talent in 
the high school ranks. They did a pretty good job of that last year. Armella was a big pickup. They picked up other guys, Woody and others, that I think were good offensive line additions um, in high school. They've done that again this year. Not as many as maybe you wanted. I know the Florida State may have missed out on a guy or two that they were looking at, but I think they're really, really happy in what they got in Lucas Simmons, and I think they're really, really happy in what they've got in Chris Otto. Uh, Otto is an underrated player. I know that everybody out there says that their three-star guys are underrated and everyone else's four-star guys are overrated. I'm not playing that game with every single recruit. I don't think that's the case. I do think Otto is going to be a good, good player for the Knowles being developed by the best offensive line coach in the country, Alex Atkins. Um, you have to continue to stack guys from the high school ranks when you're recruiting offensive linemen. You certainly need to do that at every position, but you got to start developing some of your own. We've been very good in the portal, and I think we'll continue to excel there and be a destination spot, but I think you've got to continue to up that game in the high school ranks, and Florida State's done that by picking up both Otto and Simmons. Um, I think the Knowles will benefit from both these guys. And I think within two years, Simmons and Otto's, Otto could be your starting tackles on either side. We'll see how things develop. We'll see how both players develop. But I think that the Knowles have picked up the future of their offensive line here in this class. Um, thank you guys again for coming to the channel. Thank you guys for supporting. Thanks for watching the video. Do us a big favor. We've got other content that's been out all day and we've got more coming as well. Make sure that you're subscribed. The channel growth over the last several months has been phenomenal. I think back in June, we had like 500 subscribers and we're trying to start to knock on that door of maybe 5,000. So 10 times growth in the, in the year is pretty cool. Help us get there by hitting that subscribe button. Leave a comment below. Who do you think's next to commit to the Knowles? Um, yeah, that's a fun game. If Who's next to commit to the Knowles? If anybody gets it right, maybe we'll hook you up with a Garnet and Gold gift card or something like that. Make sure you are supporting at garnetandgold.com. Use code NOSLAW, N-O-S-L-A-W. You got about four or five days before Christmas. Hopefully you're in Tallahassee. You can just pick up the in-store there. Use code NOSLAW at checkout. Again, thank you guys again for watching. The Knowles pick up a big offensive line commit. Chris Otto out of Key West, Florida, a 6'5", 290-pound offensive tackle. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Talk to you guys soon. Go Knowles.